All right, so here's my surprise. Brand new in the box. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna hook up. And we're gonna see what type of power a properly aligned radio does on a dozy. And we're also going to bust the myth that these modulation meters read true modulation. So let me hook this up and we'll be right back. All right, well the unit was made in May 7th of 2024, so it's fairly new. I mean, they look good. I've always loved how they look, but it's kind of where it ends for me. Uh, one thing, this isn't a bash video at all on Dozy or anything. It's just more for informational purposes. I mean, they got my money, so. They don't give you any specification. And I don't really like that. Where's the accuracy, Dozy? Where's the plus or minus so many percent? You don't tell us anything. There's no information here. So when you get one of these meters, which by the way is a real true peak reading power meter, there is a, a full specification in all of these KPO meters that are on my website. They all have specifications, which are what they are. You have to specify things. This gives you nothing. It gives you meter scale reading. That's it. Okay, so we got our dozy hooked up. I remember back in the day, they used to have a, a silver, like a silver strand. They were way more fancy looking back then. And again, I'm not trying to bash dozy or anything, but it looks like that sticker could come off pretty darn easy. Um. I don't remember that the writing, I don't know, I feel like it looked a little more professional back in the day than what this is, but I, I guess it is what it is. I could see the oils from your finger maybe wearing some of this stuff off, but um, I'm going to have to find a spot for it up here. Not sure where that's going to be. Probably won't use it a lot, but we will demonstrate it probably. And then I'll start listing on my site, like, what are the dozy watts? Because people need to know that, I guess. But anyways, it's in peak. So, 2,000 watts. That doesn't matter. We won't come anywhere near that. But, so, I think we all know how to read a dozy. So, I don't have to go over that. I'm in the 200 watt scale. We'll go to the 20 watt scale first. We'll key up. I got my LP still hooked up, so we're going through the dozy first, then going up and around to the LP100, which goes into the dummy load, so. So we're showing. Carriers down a little, so we will uh, go to the 20 watt scale and we'll talk into the mic. Hello, hello. One, two, hello. One, two, one, two, three. So dozy peak watts are showing 20 to 25 maybe. Hello, hello, hello. One, two. Okay. So real peak watts. One, two, three. One, two, three. 48. So there's no comparison here. I mean, basically you need to look at this like okay whatever i'm seeing here i need to almost multiply by two which tells you that there's no peak reading whatsoever here whatever it's doing it's far from any any way of real accuracy so there's your am uh, let's switch this to ssb i don't know if that's going to make any difference or not but we will so this is ssb one two three wow this is really bad here Hello, 10 watts, seriously? So, we can go to the 20 watt scale now. Hello, not even. Hello, one, two, three, one, two, three. Hello, uh, real peak watts over here. One, two, three, one, two, three. So, the moral of the story is you get what you pay for with these things. Yes, they look good, but that's kind of where it ends. You know, and it's not a bash or anything because I bought this with the business's money and it's used for demonstration, so it's a business expense. But hello, hello, it's weird because on the 200 watt scale it shows 10. Hello, and then on the 20 it only shows like five or six. 
Hello. <laughs> so there you go. All right, let's check. Let's check mod. So we'll go to AM. Uh, I'm gonna try to kill the mic gain on this, so that way. I'll shut that off for a second so we can calibrate this. I'm going to turn this down because I'm sure it's going to peg. Put this in AM. There we go. Okay, so AM mod. I think we all know how to set this. We just set it to the end. And hit, hit mod. Okay, now we need to come back here and turn our mic game back up. Okay. Oh, this does have a dimmer too, and I'm gonna set it to like dim level two for you. Okay, so AM mod. Hello. Hello. Hey, what do you know? That actually might work a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. Check, check. One, two. It's actually reading too much. Hello. It's very like inconsistent, but it's actually the best thing I've tested on this so far. One, two, three, one, two, three. It's not very accurate though. So if you have a dirty splatter box radio, you're probably going to like peg this thing every time you talk. But you know, as I continue to talk, the peak watts stay right where they should, but you know, the mod meter here doesn't understand what I'm trying to tell it. So that's why you need an oscilloscope. You need a proper way to read modulation and this just doesn't still doesn't have really a good capability so again you get what you pay for you can't replace test equipment with something like this um the last test we'll do is swr because i'm just curious to see what that's going to show um this is on fm so it's like 40 watts swr set SWR, yeah, that's nowhere near accurate either, so the radio says 1.0, the LP100 says 1.02, oh, here's the radio's frequency, let's go over here to another mode that this has that makes it worth its weight in gold, it has a antenna analyzer option for impedance and all that good stuff too. We're sitting at 50.5 ohms. So that's awesome. This bird dummy load works outstanding. So yeah, sorry, but that's not cutting it for me. 1.3 on this? No, no way. That's what I'm using. So it goes directly in from the bird, um, or from the LP100 coupler. This, uh, this port here, is a sampler that goes right into the spectrum analyzer right here so that's what it is so that was my surprise it's not very exciting it's actually kind of depressing but this stuff needs to be shown because there's so many guys that are running stuff like this and i think that you know when you have a radio that's specified to do a certain amount of power and you see that power on something like this that's a red flag that something's wrong the radio is over cranked because this is supposed to have a factory calibration. I mean, I would assume that, you know, they do what they do to it. And if you've bought a new one like I've done, then you shouldn't really ever have a reason to go in it. And I still wouldn't go in this. And somebody might say, well, you should recalibrate it. Well, no, because number one, there's no information. And the device isn't designed to read true peak anyway. So there's no way to make it read like what this would read, or the other one I showed you, or a monitor sensors, or a handful of other ones that I've discussed on this channel. So a bird with a peak kit, or a coaxial dynamic with a peak kit. I mean, the, the, the list goes on and on. But uh, again, this will be here for a reference now, for those that want to see the dozy power. So that way when you get your brand new shiny radio on your radio setup, and this is what you're using, you're not disappointed because you can already be disappointed by seeing this and seeing it here and maybe this will be a little bit of an encouragement to to go out and buy a better meter because i think we all deserve a little more accuracy and a little higher quality than what this gives us now again this looks great i'm not knocking it i like it i like how it looks i feel like this has gotten cheaper looking all the graphics but i mean 
it's nostalgic. It is what it is. I, I got the cheapest one I could that was the test center. That one I used to use when I was young, it had the um, antenna switch on it, and it had the the light built into it, and I think it had a headphone jack. It was the deluxe version. But I swear back then, the graphics and everything just looked way better, and it had that metal strip on the bottom and stuff. But anyways, that, uh, that's going to end the video here. So I hope you enjoy your new radio, and you got to see the difference between Dozy Watts and real Peak Watts. So 73, and have a good weekend. We'll try to get this sent off to you today.